Deirdre is just entering the stalls for the Nasu stakes at Goodwood last year. My uh, plan was to jump well and just sit wherever she was comfortable. I jumped fine, but Deirdre doesn't have a lot of gate speed. She's a big filly. Immediately, there's a little bit of pace on. Ryan rushes up on Hermosa, and Frankie goes forward as well on Medaya. Uh, I can't lay up at this stage, and she's out of her comfort zone a little bit, so I just have to sit wherever I am happy. Uh, I end up following Channel, uh, ridden by Pierre Charles Budo. She won at Royal Ascot over a mile, so I wasn't too afraid when I was behind her because I thought she'd be able to travel into the race and give me a good position. Uh, Sun Maiden sat third under James Doyle, Niall Le- Letty has sat fourth under Joe Fanning and, uh, and Jim Crowley's to the outside of, of Pierre Charles Budo. So um, I've got some decent ones in front of me. Uh, just Wonderful is sat beside me with Wayne Lord and we're just running uphill. Uh, the pace is still genuine. We've gone uh, three, three or four furlongs. Um, it's, it's quite a climb from when you jump out of the stalls. Now we're just turning the bend. The pace hasn't slackened yet. It's quite a sharp turn and Deirdre's a big filly to come round there. Uh, you're running downhill after the bend. We're kind of still going a decent clip. Uh, everyone's just organising themselves. I'm having a look up and seeing what horses might bring me into the race, um, who and where and what I'm going to do over the next few furlongs. Uh, Frankie's kind of put Medaya into gear. James Doyle's coming under, under a bit of pressure. Pierre Charles Budo's still sa- sitting up on channel, but uh, they've come off the rail due to the cutaway. I'm just trying to organise Deirdre to get going, going forward and balanced. Uh, she takes a little bit of time to hit, hit top gear. Now I've got a seam up the inside and uh, she's really motoring now and she's just about to switch from her left lead back to her inside leg, her right lead. I give her another few little taps and she's just about to hit the front with half a furlong to go. Frankie's all out, Danny Tudup's flying down the outside but the race is over. Deirdre's won her first group one uh, in England and obviously massive for Japanese racing fans. For me I got a huge thrill out of the race. Um, I had been wanting to ride Sir Michael Stout's horse, but that wasn't available when I committed to Deirdre so far in advance. So, uh, so it was a huge moment. Uh, Deirdre has been in really good shape uh, since the eclipse. Uh, I think she goes to Nasty Stakes with an excellent chance. She's a very straightforward horse. Her work has been good, so uh, wouldn't it be incredible if she could go back to back? Lots of Japanese racing fans tune in. I'd say a maj- the majority do. Uh, racing in Japan is heavily publicised and really promoted. So there's, it's a great feeling when you can, you know, run a big race for all those people. And uh, if I could win back-to-back Nasu Stakes on, on Deirdre, uh, I'm sure it'd make a lot of Japanese people happy.